George, delighted to meet you. Spent some time talking to you. The exciting news this week: you're coming back to Wales on NDC at the Ospreys. Are you? Do you share that excitement? You must be pretty pleased with that. Yeah, um, very excited. You know, um, it's been a long old process. Obviously, um, sorting out my NDC early and then trying to obviously work out the best place to return back to Wales with. Um, Obviously, a lot of people had a lot of different opinions, which was always fun trying to whittle through them. But you know, for me, I'm excited to to join the Ospreys. Um, uh, I'm excited for the for the next few seasons ahead. So, what was the deciding factor when it came down to it? You know, what what pushed the Ospreys over the line for you and made you finally decide you know, this is where I want to be in the Liberty Stadium? Uh, a number of reasons, really. Um, you know, I've got a lot of good friends in the the Osprey squad. Um, I've been spoken to them a number of occasions. Um, you know, they're speaking highly about the coaching staff, um, about the the squad itself, and the camaraderie and uh, the sort of the, the the closeness of the squad. Um, I think that's a real big pull for me. The fact that uh, they've recruited well, uh, bringing some some strong players in for next season, and the excitement that that squad can bring uh, going forward. You know, and I felt that um, for me it would be the one of the good places to be with the coaches and obviously with coaches coming in as well um, to develop me further and sort of going forward. I've had visions of perhaps Dan Lydiot, Scott Williams in New York every time they speak to you, come to the Liberty Stadium, be part of what we're trying to do. Was it a bit like that or were you refusing to have your arm twisted? Um, no, obviously I spoke to uh, I spoke to the boys enough, didn't I? Um, many phone calls, messages and you know obviously they're my good mates so they're kind of left decision down to me but um it was a case of they were saying it'd be good to have you <laughs> playing with us next year and um yeah, as i said earlier i'm excited for the the challenge ahead obviously the news of you come in follows on from the announcement that alan clark has taken the role of head coach he after spending 10 months at the ospreys as a forwards coach and then the last three months as interim head coach he's now gonna there for the long run as the head man you know, what do you know about Alan and what do you think it's going to be like working with him? Yeah, no, I, again, I guess it's an exciting new role for him going forward. You know, I think obviously since he's been in the interim, um, I think the the reaction from the squad has shown, you know, the, the quality of rugby they've been playing of late has been good. Um, you know, from, from, from obviously, my, my many phone calls, obviously understanding what the feeling is about him as a, as a coach, as he's held in high regard by the boys and... I think he works well within within the squad and, and vice versa. So, again, for me, it's, it's exciting to for a new experience, but also uh, to be playing under a new coach. And as a back as well, it'll be Matt Charrett's coming to the Liberty Stadium, another new face. So it, it adds to the sense of excitement, perhaps, for next season. Yeah, you know, as I said earlier, I, I alluded to, to it earlier with the sense that obviously we recruited well uh, on the field, but with the coaches as well. Um, you know, I've worked with Matt a couple of times with, in the in the Welsh setup and. For me, I'm excited to, to get back. Obviously, looking how um, his work is going well now at the moment is be part of that and developing that further. Over the years, Ospreys fans have had to sit with their hands in front of their eyes as you've run in quite a number of tries against the Ospreys. Um, so I'd have thought that they're looking forward to perhaps to seeing the boot on the other foot, as it were, and you make an impact at the Liberty. You'll be hopefully looking to make an impact as soon as you can. Yeah, you know, I'm, as it's been, a, been up in limbo a little bit, obviously, with... Uh, to and fro and while go and stuff but you know as I say excited to be joining the club um, excited for the new challenge and excited to be back um, not back but to be playing in the back line like that you know especially in the, in the mat as well and in front of some great fans in front of a great in, on a great service at, at Liberty Obviously at the Ospreys there's some work to be done this season Cardiff Blues the Principality Stadium Judgment Day this weekend then next month a very important Champions Cup playoff and for yourself obviously you've got two games left in Northampton and you're going to want to say goodbye to a place that you've had close to your heart the last four years in the right manner um, yeah I guess obviously watching from afar now we keep an eye as I have done for the last few weeks um, on the Ospreys and how they're going and where they're where they're heading um, and that's exciting uh, and for you know for from a Northampton point of view we've got two big games to end the season you know we've we've got Wasps and in Worcester and I'm looking forward to, to try and you know to finish on a high yeah, and make sure we finish strongly at the club. You know, it's been been a great <laughs> number of seasons. I've 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 loved it here. You know, it's been a great big part of my life and my career. And something hopefully we can finish on a high to to bring it to an end. You've talked about perhaps where we're going to be the next couple of years now as an Osprey. But have you got any actual ambitions, any targets with the Ospreys, with Wales, and, and even go as far as say the next Lions talk because you're still only 26 years old. So you know, what are your hopes and ambitions? Um. 
realistically, um, I've not thought that far ahead. You know, I've um, excited to commit to, to the Ospreys. Um, for me, I'm excited to be playing in, as I said, in that in that squad and be in that environment, and hopefully getting back up to where you know, the Ospreys can be and, and competing. And for me, with that, obviously, hopefully, if I'm playing well for the club, I'll hopefully be within chance back in with in the Welsh camp. And then obviously what will be after that will be, but for the for the short term now, it's getting in the camp, getting to meet everyone, um, learning how everything works in a new club, um, and then really sort of getting out of there and making an impact, hopefully.